authority uh, and indeed uh, what is required to ensure that we, we come around to the realization of the importance of, of valuing water and saving water and storing water because we're going to have a discussion now about a specialized water tank that has been developed and it involves a collaboration with Docks Engineering Works Limited and the Cannes group of companies. Uh, and, and this collaboration has resulted in a unique technology being applied here in Trinidad and Tobago. This tank is the first of its kind being built in Trinidad and Tobago. Among its many benefits, uh, these kinds of tanks can be placed in tight spaces, underground. In this way, both residential, commercial and industrial users will be able to save space. And this is a great advantage over other water storage tanks because we know for many people, especially those who rent and in cramped areas, tight spaces, they don't have the space for a normal 400 gallon tank or 800 gallon tank or a thousand gallon tank because you're only getting water once a week or twice a month. So, 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 so that is certainly a challenge. Well, to tell us more about this new technology and its application here in Trinidad and Tobago, we're joined by the Managing Director of Docs Engineers. He is Shamdeo Gosain. And also uh, joining us is someone with a tremendous experience in this area of the construction industry, he's David Van Doren. He's the founder and CEO of Global Technology Building Systems. He's here with us in Trinidad and Tobago. He's a native of Kansas in the United States and the very geographical heart of the USA. But he's in the heart of our discussion this morning. Good morning to the two gentlemen. Thanks very much uh, for joining us uh, this morning. If I could start with uh, Mr. Gosain. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Thanks very much for joining us, Mr. Gosain. Tell us about this new technology. What are we talking about here with this new type of tank that could actually be placed underground? Well, first, the, the technology has been around for more than 40 years. And we have been using the technology in Trinidad for more than 20 years for building uh, buildings. We have built a lot of uh, homes and all of that in, in Trinidad. However, um, this is the first time we are building a water tank of the capacity that uh, Mr. Niall Khan from Khan's Poultry has afforded us to put on the ground where he is going to use the tank for two purposes. It's, a, it's going to be a water storage and also it is going to be a wall, a retaining wall. So this technology, of course, um, Waffle, it has the potential of using way less material. The reasons for this is that the panel is cast with 40% less than a solid panel, and it also carries the strength of a, a full size panel. So it, it really has material savings, cost effectiveness in this. However, this is a modular system that is cast off-site and then brought onto the site. So there is little work. In fact, we started putting in this tank on, on Monday and we are already at the stage where we are just forking it. The, stand, the tank is already in. Okay, so, Mr. Gosain, uh, we'll get some more information on it as, as, as usage, whether it, we're talking more industrial usage, is it really more for commercial purposes, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's bring in Mr. Van Doren into the discussion. Very good morning to you, sir. Thanks uh, for joining us. Uh, what can you tell us uh, as far as the, the application of this particular technology and your role in uh, this entire process? Good morning to you. Yes, good morning. Yeah, we developed this system uh, about 47 years ago, and it was developed primarily at that time as a basement wall, a basement wall foundation. Uh, <clears throat> so it was very strong, the strength of an eight inch wall, and yet the material usage of a three and a half inch wall by waffling out the unnecessary concrete. So the one side of the panel looks like a breakfast waffle the other side is generally flat, smooth, uh, but not always. And the, the system has been used far beyond basement walls. Uh, we've used it for uh, multi-story apartments, hotels, uh, big commercial and industrial buildings. And uh, we have also done quite a few tanks in various locations. 
many countries require tanks uh, on the roof for uh, dependable water supply because these municipal water is not on all the time. So you have to fill your tank when you can and then you use it uh, as you need it from the tank. And we also have many tanks that have been built in places like Puerto Rico where uh, each, each large commercial building has to have their own fire protection water. So when the fire truck rolls up to fight a fire, they draw water out of our underground cistern, which is normally under the parking lot. So it doesn't take up any room, but these are huge tanks, uh, often uh, 80 to 100,000 gallons. And that's similar to Doc's uh, 75,000 gallon tank that is mostly underground here. It serves uh, the dual purpose of a retaining wall and a water tank. And, and Mr. Van, Van Doren, be before I, I go back to Mr. Gosain for, for some final final thought, what about, uh, to get ideas about costing and so on, what about the ideas of, of scale as far as, can this be scaled up or down as far as requirements, uh, or are we talking primarily uh, for large scale commercial usage or large scale apartment type usage? Is that, the, is that what we're talking about here, Mr. Van Doren? Yes, yeah, it can be scaled up to be much larger. It could be scaled down to be somewhat smaller. Uh, we've done uh, we've done tanks up to 350,000 gallons, which would be four or five times larger than this tank uh, that Doc is building here. So yeah, it's scalable from smaller to much larger. And, and going back to, to Mr. They're, they're, yeah, they're and going back to Mr. Gosain, but for just for some They're not fire. like they're not like a steel tank that's gonna eventually rust, or a plastic tank that's not going to stand up to the uh, environment. These are permanent tanks that should last a hundred years. I, I hear you on that. Uh, uh, Mr. Gosain, uh, b before time runs out on us, one of the, the concerns will always be, not just as far as, as this technology and the application yes. of this technology, and thanks for correcting me when I said that this was uh, something brand new, it's actually been around for quite some time, but it is the application here in Trinidad and Tobago. What about cost uh, as far as, as in installing something like this? Would people get value for money uh, as, as far as it, it installing okay. something uh, like this? It appears that maybe Mr. Gosain is not hearing us at this time. I'm, hearing, I'm um, hearing you now. Sir. Okay, right. So let me just quickly ask that question before time runs out on us. What are we talking about as far as cost is concerned? How does this compare with, with other com competing applications? Okay, so uh, if we are talking about uh, um, a, a tank uh, other than uh, what we are doing, you'll find that the short space, because uh, what does a tank last, a, a plastic tank, five, 10 years? This tank will last you over a hundred years. So if you're looking at, at course, um, apples to apples, you'll realize that the quality of what you're getting and where you put in it, especially you can't put a plastic tank on the ground. You, uh, whereas you could simply put this on the ground. So it saves it for, I, I will say that commercial buildings and, and larger uh, buildings, especially where you have to have retaining walls and all that, it is very cost effective. Um, so cost wise, if you are going to utilize it, invariably right here in, in CARICOM, a lot of these smaller countries like Antigua and St. Vincent and all of those, they have water tanks under their houses.